everybody. This is Doug Fine from the Defined Engagement, the podcast. And I'm here with Josie Nakash, and she is in Israel. Josie, welcome. Hi. And you're living right now in the center of Israel, you say, close to, fairly close to Tel Aviv? Yeah. The new capital? No. <laughs> yeah, no, the new capital is Jerusalem, right? <laughs> the old new capital. <laughs> That's right. Um, so I'm going to uh, let my guests hear a little bit about you. So I'm going to read a bio uh, about you, and then we'll start the uh, Q&A, okay? Great. Um, Josie is a marketing consultant who helped launch many of Israel's most successful startups over the years. Today, she provides companies with strategies for positioning themselves correctly for the next stage of business, which is a very human stage. She created the Good Vibe Agency to provide new branding that the world really needs right now. She thinks that we need to surround ourselves with positive and uplifting messages and examples of good human behavior. So uh, Josie is a startup expert and she's always happy to answer any questions from entrepreneurs and I love this, Josie knows all the mistakes they have made very well. They're excellent at making mistakes, right? Well, that's how you learn. Now is on larger companies where she can impact more people and get big messages out to the world. Josie is concerned that the big companies are not changing quick enough to align themselves with the new highly dynamic conditions in the world. Branding has not really changed at all in the last 10 years. And Josie thinks those big companies need to take advantage of public spaces and spaces on products that we consume every day, like cereal boxes. So that will get new messages and guidance out to people. Josie, uh, this is such a rich bio. There's so much that I would go, oh, tell me more about that. But we're going to get to that too. Um, but in the meantime, let's just, in the, in, in, at the start, we're just going to have a nine minute segment of, Kind of rapid fire uh, questions and answers. I'm going to start. I'm a, sniper, I'm a sniper instructor, by the way, the second sure. female sniper instructor. So don't talk to me about rapid fire. <laughs> <laughs> and she is a sniper instructor, folks. Uh, multi talented, let's say that, huh? It was a long time ago. Yeah. So here's what we're, we're going to get started. And this, this thus begins the Defined Engagement podcast with Josie. So Josie, who, who do you work best with? Who do you think your ideal client is? My ideal client just gets it right away. We start talking, they just get it. It's a yes or no situation. They don't have to ask anyone. They don't have to consult. It's usually the CEO. It's the person that can write a check or, you know, Beautiful. hit a button and that's it. We're, we're in business. We're doing, we're doing stuff together. I love that. I love that. So what is the problem that you help those people that can push the button solve? Well, nowadays I'm helping people solve a problem that they don't know that they have yet. Mm -hmm. The problem is the growing human ego. Mm -hmm. So everybody's talking about culture and empathy and kindness and connection and inclusion and diversity and all these beautiful terms and you know, it sounds, it all sounds amazing. And, you know, it's beautiful, beautiful to hear these conversations. But what they don't realize is that the human ego is growing. And there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't see on people's people aren't necessarily expressing outward yet, what's really going on inside the human ego is growing. So I'm here to help tackle that next stage, like put the human ego into its proper place almost? No, it, there's a way to synchronize our egos together because we go into a place every day. We're in these, you know, a building together every day, you know, dozens or hundreds of people. And we need to, we're also dispersed globally. There's people in, glo you know, international offices, lots of high tech companies here. They have offices around the world. And we need to synchronize our egos. And then we balance each other out, especially globally. So these are all new tricks that companies need to learn and need to pay attention to. And right now, everybody's doing the same thing that they've always done, the same kind of things. It's not going to be enough in this next stage. 
Okay, I want to hear more about that. Um, so what's the common mistake that people make when when you're helping them solve that problem? Or you're not helping them yet, but they're in the problem. What are their mistakes? The problem is, is that they're doing the same things that they did a year ago and two years ago. They're throwing a party, um, you know, just, you know, they're, they're doing they're doing great things inside the company, but say you're doing a great, uh, you know, bonding activity inside the company that needs to be documented. Mm -hmm. You know, if if something really special is going on, it's not enough to just uh, grab, you know, 10 seconds of it and put a little post up on LinkedIn. These examples of human bonding that happen a lot inside companies all the time, and also when companies go to conferences, they also happen with external people. These examples of human connection need to be promoted. They need to be promoted inside the company. They need to be promoted outside the company. They need to be embedded in the company's brand. But if you look at business, everyone is doing everything the way they've always done it, pretty much. Mm -hmm. it's, there's not really this transformation. You know, if there was this transformation, you would walk down the halls of an office and you would see, like, you see a football team. What would you see on the walls, you know, in a football team? You see the team together. They have to be together to succeed. They have the, you know, they have to push each other. They have to have this excitement. They have to have this, you know, this pumping thing going on all the time. They yes. have to be, you know, that, that's what you need to see reflected. You need to see examples of the team together, happy. Not I'm ta not talking about, you know, photo image, uh, image bank type of images. I'm talking about real genuine, you know, connection. That yeah, really motivational matters. posters. But, but, it's, but you're looking at yourself. You're not looking at strangers. You're looking at people, you and your team together. Great. Hey, um, what's something that my audience uh, can implement today if that will make a difference from your perspective? So it's really simple things that can be implemented. Um, you come in in the morning, you get your coffee, instead of everybody just going to their table and starting their work, you know, we're all sort of like isolated nowadays, you know, just like, leave me alone, let me get my work done. And we're all like that and it's fine. That's, that's how we are now, it's okay. But be aware of it, gather in a circle before work, sit down together and do some kind of little workshop together. It can be five minutes, 10 minutes. A really cool thing to do is what I call the compliment game. Mm. That you sit in a circle and you know, the receptionist can be sitting next to the CEO and the CEO has to compliment you know, the receptionist. Uh, it's so wonderful. Everybody that comes into the company, they get a huge smile from you. Imagine how that receptionist will go through her day after being complimented by the CEO first thing in the morning. How much does it cost the company to take this, you know, few minutes every morning and how valuable would it be in motivation and pumping everyone up for the rest of the day? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. What about the return on that investment, that short little investment and you, what you can instill in people at the beginning of the day? That's awesome. So um, from all your experience, um, I, I actually, I actually, from all your experience, what's the most valuable free tip you can give? I have lots of free tips. I'm just like, who, you know, are there people out there listening? Uh, we need to really, really transform what we're looking at. You know, you're Starbucks. You have stores all over the country. You have stores all over the world. You have a million opportunities to provide us with, you know, good examples of human behavior on the walls of your store, on the, you know, the digital signage and everything. There's so many opportunities but they're not being used for that. They're being used for like, get your latte, $3.99. You know, they're being used for regular, straightforward selling. Mm -hmm. they're used, being used for all kinds of superficial sales marketing that people barely even glance at anymore because there's so many other distractions. There's so much Hollywood content going around these days. You know, on YouTube, it doesn't even come from Hollywood anymore. You know, people are on all these channels and subscribe to this and to that. And, you can't compete with that. You can't put up these superficial things and people are really not even looking at it. So let's use this space for something much better. I'm hearing that. I heard there that there's, a, there's probably a lot more real things happening 
between people and let's say you have a YouTube channel and you're doing something and maybe even like what we're doing here today, that's way more real than messages that are coming from big companies. You know, connections. And they're very, they're very superficial me messages. You know, they were created by a big advertising company or something and they're very, people, aren't connecting to those messages anymore. They want more meaningful, real human connection. They want to connect to, you know, like-minded people. They want, they want to feel the human connection. Great. So how can people learn more about you and your work? And do you have anything that they, uh, like a website they can go to or a free resource that they could download or anything that they might want to take uh, that would let them know a little bit more about Josie and what she does? Well, I'm on LinkedIn a lot these days. Okay. There's a lot going on on LinkedIn. Like, you know, there's all these circles of people connecting and there's a lot of amazing free advice there at the moment on all these subjects. There's like a whole new group of consultants that are tackling this new stage with, you know, fresh energy, fresh ideas. And uh, my site is the goodvibeagency.com. Goodvibeagency.com. Okay. You can connect with me on LinkedIn. You can ask me questions. I'll be happy to answer. Awesome. So, folks, I'm going to give you the right spelling of Josie's name and last name. First name is J-O-S-I-A. Last name is N-A-K-A-S-H. And you can find her on LinkedIn. You can find her at the Good Vibe website, goodvibrations.com. Um, and the last words are yours, Josie, before we roll out. Let's take advantage of all this technology to connect people together. Look at us. It's 9 a.m. your time. It's 4, it's 4 p.m. my time. We connected. We're creating something together. You know, we need to activate this global connection. We need to activate all this human connection to advance in a better way together. Thank you so much for the time you've given me. And we're going to spend a little extra time, and uh, I'm going to post that, that uh, conversation in another place on my site. But this one is my uh, nine and five. Fine and nine and fine. <laughs> fine and nine. Fine is nine. Anyway, we had a nine-minute conversation, and you did terrific. And, and I want to wish you all success, and I know that we're going to stay in touch together. So thank you for your generous time with me today. Thank you, Doug. Talk to you again, okay?